Hello and welcome back to the channel. So today's video is a beer tasting video and we've got another one from Buxton's Brewery. Well, Buxton Brewery, sorry, not Buxton's. And this is Whetstone India Pale Ale and it's coming in at 7.2%. Um, you can get this beer, well you can locally to me in Sainsbury's. Um, £2.50, I think it was on offer. Um, possibly £3 when it's on, on not being on offer. Um, but yeah, I had the um, Axe Edge quite recently, really enjoyed that. And this is 7.2%, I mean, that is a fantastic price. Like I said, I paid £2.50 myself in Sainsbury's for this locally to be in Greater Manchester. Um, for a Buxton beer, superb. Um, lovely again, the can design, it's like a little map that's on there. Um, what's he got on there? England, he's got the West... The Whetstone Ridge, Cheshire No, or yeah, Cheshire No, uh, Danaton Hollow, it's got Buxton, Cuckoo Rocks, Wood Mass, yeah, superb, absolutely superb. So let's get it open, let's get the, what it looks like, let's get the aroma, and let's get the taste. <clears throat> like I say, 7.2% India Pale Ale, I'm looking forward to this, really am. Is it going to be hazy? Is it going to be clear? Wow. It's pouring a beautiful gold colour. It looks like it could be a clear beer. Forming a lovely white head. Really creamy as well. Carbonation really low. Superb. That's just how I like it. It's not running around that glass. Slight like a chill haze more than anything really like you can see through that slightly so it's got a nice chill haze looks superb put the cap next to it wet stone look good for that amount of money as well let's get the aroma what would i say that is then citrus massive citrus i'm not getting any tropical more citrus, a lot of citrus there to be honest. Yeah, trying to push through, it might be a slight mango, but it's more citrus than anything that's pushing fruit forward. Smells really good. And like I say, it's fairly clear, possibly a bit of hop haze, but it's, it's fairly clear. It looks like a West Coast IPA that does. Okay, let's go for it. Wow, straight away. You can tell 7.2%. It's got a real good malt backbone. And it, I'm quite happy to say that that malt backbone is giving a good fight to them hops. Now the hops are offering some bitterness, really nice bitterness across the palate, but you're also tasting the malt and sometimes, in a really good IPA, you want to taste that malt, and you can taste that malt. I'm getting caramel from that malt, which is superb. I'm getting some biscuit and bready nose as well, which is absolutely superb. It's, it's a superb beer, it really is. It's like the old style West Coast IPA again. There's maltiness. There's no overpowering tropical notes at all. It's citrus, and then it's a lovely malt balanced taste, which is fantastic. Really pleased with that. That is superb. It's a bee's knees. It's a bee's knees again from Buxton. A superb beer. Let's see if I can see anything on the can. <sighs> okay, Whetstone India Pale Ale, 7.2%. A full bodied and full flavoured IPA in the West Coast style. Superb. That's exactly what it is. Assert assertive but balanced hop bitterness. Complements the malt backbone. There you go. It really is that. It is superb. <sighs> Aromas are forthright com com uh, <coughs> coming from the big dry hopping of Columbus, Athenum, Athenum Azaka, and Equinox. 
Now, Equinox, normally you, you do get some tropical from that and uh, Zaka as well, but I'm, I think I'm picking up more on the Columbus, which is like them big citrus notes. Um, that is superb. That is, a, that is a good example, again, of a West Coast IPA. Now, Axe Edge by uh, Buxton was more bitter, which was absolutely, I mean, that brought the bitterness back to me. That was superb. But this is just... You know, that's as good. I would really enjoy drinking that. 7.2% though, couldn't have too many. But if you can get that from your local Sainsbury's, honestly, that's a good take on a West Coast IPA. I'm so pleased that I'm getting the malt flavours coming through. It's not just all about the hops. You're getting that hops, but then you're getting the malt, and it's a brilliant, nearly swore then. It's a brilliant balance, so nice one, nice one. Really good, that books in. Okay, thanks for watching. Cheers, and I'll see you in the next one.